Mortal Kombat 1, you already know, is on its way. And Fire God Liu Kang, you already know, the, the staple man for this game. If you've been living under a rock, it looks like they've moved Scorpion out the way. And they have made way for yours truly, Liu Kang. Liu Kang is definitely a figurehead. He could, he's a standalone character. You could definitely use him to push Mortal Kombat forward, but that's neither here nor there. Listen, um, Fire God Liu Kang in the Keepers of Time trailer revealed how the hourglass will be used in Mortal Kombat 1. We all know we was introduced to the hourglass in Mortal Kombat 11 and Chronica. Obviously, no word on her, but this is going to be an all-out wild frenzy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right now if you are excited for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> if you want more Mortal Kombat related news as we lead up to the release date this September, make sure you subscribe because we're going to definitely be bringing the news and everything to you. So, a lot was said. Liu Kang said that the hourglass is a celestial object that lies beneath the realms, you know, and basically that Garrus is the protector of it. And he said that the hourglass regulates time and destiny. And basically, I'm trying to figure out what, what the, and if you get into the bio of Garrus that was released today, we're going to get all into what was said because I think that was that's gonna just like I said draw a lot of different head scratching moments if you will because when I was reading it I'm like what in the world is going on here you know um, this seems like uh, there's no telling what's about to take place you know in this story what it's looking like that you're gonna have so many moving parts in this game and so much stuff that could possibly pop off it, it is just is it, wild i can't believe that mortal kombat is basically restarting itself and basically is going to be a retelling in uh basically Liu kang's own mind and like his own way of peace let's see if it all works itself out for him we don't know yet who's even going to be the the big bad person in this game um Obviously, it could be a couple of people. I'm hearing it could be Shao Kahn, um, even though in this game is rumored that his name will be General Shao, because remember, it's all reimagined, and he obviously did not get his status yet in this reimagined uh, world that's going on, created by Liu Kang. I think it's going to be interesting. I don't like every single dynamic, because... You got a dynamic in place where you got Scorpion is basically um, Quan Lang. I mean, that's kind of crazy to me in my humble opinion. Um, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, if you are a Mortal Kombat fan and you are ready for this game to take place, um, this is <clears throat> tr truly going to be something special in my humble opinion. But um, Garrus is basically gonna be watching over Liu Kang. Basically, Liu Kang is running everything. Garrus is gonna be doing his biddings and it's his job to protect the hourglass. Who else could be coming for the hourglass? You know, in my humble opinion, I think that's something that we need to really uh, think about because who who else could be coming uh, for the fort that he's gonna have to basically get his hands dirty? He gonna have to seem like he's going to have to protect something. And it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to be able to do it. Who's coming for the for the hourglass? I think it's going to be, obviously, Shang Tsung. Because if you've been living under a rock, Shang Tsung did win as well. It was an ending for him. And um, for whatever reason, I, I don't know exactly what, what actually occurred. But... We don't know which ending is going to be official, but I can tell you this, that it could be a situation if the hourglass is regulating itself and destiny and things of that nature. What if both storylines are going to just crash into each other at one, one given moment? 
And what if you they both won and you have a situation where basically it, you have two 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 people running wild and, and, and they own timelines and they're gonna just eventually meet up and it's gonna be a whole lot of warfare. But um let me know y'all thoughts, man. Are, are y'all just excited for this game as I am? Uh, Mortal Kombat 1 is coming at you very quickly. It won't be much time before people got to get their hands on this game. I know people are excited. There's so many big-time fighting games out, but I think that all of these games, Street Fighter, uh, Tekken, whatever, any fighting game that is trying or thinks that they're going to compete with a Mortal Kombat, I think they're solely, solely screwing themselves. You know, um, everybody will bow when this game comes out, especially fighting game fans. This game is that only being created for next-gen systems, uh, and you have another, or is another round is not even making the Switch version. There will be a Nintendo Switch version, but another round is not creating that one. Um, so this game would take full full power of this ne these next generation consoles and I can't wait to see it. I think it's going to be unbelievable um, and listen Mortal Kombat fans everywhere should be rejoicing but we, we got something and I, this cameo system I'm starting to take a liking to it. I'm starting to understand truly what it's all about. I think initially I was kind of lost to the, to the whole situation. I kind of was like what in the world is, is this all about? But now, it's starting to make much more sense. Um, the Fire Guy, Liu Kang, this is going to be a good game. You know, with him, the cover art looks crazy. Uh, remind you, the DLC is spectacular. It's just, I, hope, I wonder if at the end of this game, everybody just kind of, everything just goes back to normal, like how we all know it. Um, that's my only thing that I want to know, like, or is that, or is this really the new situation? I think that this is not, I don't think that this timeline is going to always be the same. I think at some point we do go back to what we, what we know, because like I said, the hourglass regulating time, who's to say at the end of this game, the time don't get reset to where it was prior back in Mortal Kombat 11. And they say Garrus understands all, every timeline. That's another thing that was said on his um, bio. Garrus knows everything. So he's going to be the guy basically saying something. He might be revealing some things. It's going to be interesting, man. Mortal Kombat 1 is going to be an all-out movie. And make sure you get your popcorn. I got my pre-orders in. You already know. If you want to play me in Mortal Kombat, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Put your gamer tag. Let's link up. It's Flight Sports TV.